Researchers are questioning whether algal blooms in Utah Lake could be airborne. It's part of the focus of a Utah State University study happening this week. New specialist Mike Anderson explains how it works. They're sending a drone boat into the water multiple times a day through most of this week, not when it's rough like this, but one of the main objectives is they want to see if we can actually get sick from breathing in the air around these algal blooms. Why put yourself at risk when you can use technology? This could be the future in monitoring algal blooms around Utah. If, let's say, the boat tips over or they get come to contact with it, they do get sick. You don't want that to happen. Dylan McPeak, a master's student in civil and environmental engineering at Utah State University, says they want to see if they can give staff at the Department of Environmental Quality another option, <laughs> essentially using a robot to take samples. If the water is dangerous and you want to be on it, you don't want, ideally don't want to send someone on a boat to collect samples. But there's another concern that affects potentially anyone who comes out here, a cyanobacteria called microcystin that can be quite nasty in the right amounts. Things like constipation, occasional headaches, diarrhea, that sort of thing. It's why filters like this are taken in samples of the air around the lake, running for 12 hours a day. One thing that's been seen in places like Michigan and New Zealand that hasn't been checked at Utah Lake yet, it's actually possible for the microcystins in the water to actually aerosolize and they get in the air and then pose a threat through inhalation. McPeak says if the bacteria is in the air, concentrations would likely be much lower on the shore than, say, from a boat. Most people might not even notice any issues in a single day trip, but they'd like to know for sure. And they will be taking those samples out here through Thursday, then studying that all back in the lab, seeing what they find. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.